What up nerds, my name is Nikki, and welcome back to Plot the Musical. Um, today's episode of Wind Waker will be very plot heavy. We're gonna be taking our sword back, we're gonna fight that guy, and basically that'll be it, I think. I mean, we might go do what we need to do in the next place as well. I'm, I'm purposely trying to avoid saying anything for the five people who are watching this who haven't played, so what should we call it? There's not going to be much action, is what I'm saying right here in the now, and I just realized I never muted my TV. Professionalism, my name is Nikki. So, let's kill a man. And by a man, I mean whatever the heck this thing is supposed to be. Where do you think the inspiration for the enemy was drawn? Like, is it supposed to be some sort of a goblin or something like that? I mean... When you really think about it, Zelda is high fantasy. It doesn't- it never really felt like high fantasy to me, just because, like, high fantasy's always felt like Lore of the Rings or something like that, but when you actually consider it, like, there's magic and there's monsters and there's, uh... Well, this one's not really Middle Earth. There's very little Earth for it to be considered, even Small Earth, but... Heh, <laughs> fun story. Or fun joke, or let's watch this cutscene because I blew it, Nikki. You blew it, Nikki. Darn it, Nikki. Oh no. Oh no. It's this guy. It's okay, you have your sword, Link. But okay, getting in anyway. Surprisingly good voice acting for a game that doesn't focus on voice acting. Okay then. Oh, this is ominous as flip. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be talking. It's, it's plot. Plot's going on right now. Um. By the way, can I- oh, oh. It's a foreboding nod. Ooh. It's okay, guys. He can't die because of plot convenience. Um, by the way, I want that house, whatever the heck it is. I mean, that's that's some Pinterest level awesome. Lot of convenience. Link. Link. I've never been able to nail his voice. Wake up, Link! <laughs> Pull yourself together, Link! Another off-putting thing. He's always wa rocking in the opposite direction of which way the boat's rocking. It... That's just sloppy, especially in a remake. Well, have you come to your senses yet? Oh boy. You are surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose it's only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it which can speak the words of men. I am the King of Red Lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I've been watching you since we went to since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. Still rocking in the opposite direction of the way that the boat's rocking. That just it gets on my nerves, but okay, whatever. I understand your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. I know why it broke! Plot can 
convenience. Tell me, Link. Do you still wish to save your sister from them? And you would do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Why do people keep asking me that? What do I do I look like I don't speak English? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possess possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. A boat with no sail can sail no seas, except for that you are at the Forsaken Fortress, and somehow, without any sail, and cannot sail the seas, made it all the way to this place, which is quite far away for a boat with no sail, which we won't actually know until we get a sea trip, but whatever. I have brought you far to the east of the dark. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. And you're hearing a lot of noise outside. I apologize for that. As always, someday I'll have good audio. That day is not today. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at the sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. What time is it? I have a couple more minutes. I'm gonna buy that sale and then I'm gonna call it quits. Yeah, it's Swiftful Island. This is like I'd have to think that this is supposed to be the Kakuriku equivalent in Wind Waker, just because oh this guy, don't see me, don't see me. Good job, bye. And this is why we were collecting rupees before, because it's going to cost a little bit to get this sale, and if you have to collect all the rupees, it's going to cost about like 80 rupees, and you have to, if you have to collect them all on this island, it's a real pain in the butt. So, are you going to come over here? Cool. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island was where I washed ashore. There was one other per and one other person with me. Yes, there was. But, dare I say, he was immediately arrested based on somewhat suspicious looks, and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, oh my gosh, I know who he's talking about. I'm sorry, I never bothered to actually listen to what this guy has to say, but I know exactly who he's talking about now that I'm hearing him speaking. Wow, he was traveling with that guy! Okay, anyway. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. Okay. I'm really worried that my webcam's gonna run out of space and it's gonna stop recording automatically, but I'm gonna risk it. Uh, apparently we have to go rescue Tingle before we actually get the sale, which is weird because I guess, I mean, I automatically always did it. I forgot to this time just because, you know, let's play curse, but geez, I didn't even think that was a requirement. I thought you could just go and buy the sale. Um, this guy. This guy. Uh... What do I want to do? I'm gonna save this for the next episode. Okay, so we're gonna call it quits right now. It's a short episode and it was really plot heavy, but I warned you about that from the very beginning, so go cry to someone else. Um, 
thank you for staying here through all my ramblings, and I will see you on Tuesday. Until next time, nerds. Thank you.